Okay, question four from the June 2008 examination. Let's take a look at it. It says a car is moving on a straight horizontal road and it gives us various different details and we're asked to draw a speed time graph. So let's get our axes together and let's get the vertical axes as a speed axis and let's get our horizontal axis as our time so let's label these up time in seconds and speed up here in ms minus one relating to the question now it says that the car passes point A at 25 meters per second so we need to label somewhere up here on the vertical axis a 25 doesn't matter necessarily about the scale this just happens that we've chosen a scale for of uh, 1 square equals 5 but in the exam you don't need to give a scale you just as long as it, it, it's obvious what you're doing now and this car maintains a speed at 25 meters per second and it carries on for 30 seconds so we're going to draw a straight horizontal line we're actually going to draw the straight horizontal line coming at 25 for some distance 30 seconds so let's label this down on the axes 30 that is 0 and this is 0 then it says the car decelerates uniformly so uniform deceleration is obviously means of some straight line until it's going to a speed of 10 so we don't know how long this takes so we'll just draw it there we do know that the time here is 10 and we'll call this distance this time t and then the final part of the journey the car maintains its speed until it reaches the point b and the total time is 90 seconds so let's carry this on here we know this now is 90 seconds here approximately three times not exactly three times and we know this was the point b here and this was the point a so everything we've got labeled correctly okay and i'm going to take a copy of this because we're going to need this in a second for the second part of the question so let's just copy that now it's a very important piece of information if told here we've not used that so we're guessing we're going to have to need that in the second part of part b and in this i've kept the same information at the top it says calculate the deceleration of the car as it decelerates from 25 to 10. so let's bring in our other object and let's just shrink it down a little and then we can see what's going on now i'm going to divide this let's change color to red i'm going to divide this up i'm going to divide the first 30 seconds up and i'm going to call this part one i'm going to divide the next part between 30 here and t here i'm going to call this section two and then the last section of our journey section three now a really important point to do with speed time graphs or velocity time graphs is that the distance you can use the graph to help you find the distance traveled and that is always given by the area underneath the graph in this case i've split it into three sections so you could work out the area of section one then two then three and add it all together and the other element of the graph you can find out of the speed time graph is the acceleration and that relates to the gradient or in the case of this graph our gradient of our line goes down so it will be a deceleration so let's keep that in mind so the first part wants us to find a well, it wants us to find the deceleration, but to find the deceleration, we need to know this time t here. And the only piece of information we've not 
used is that 1, 4, 1, 10. So let's set up an equation that's got 1, 4, 1, 10 in, which is the distance, and then it's going to be the area of each section. So area of section 1 plus the area of section 2 plus the area of section 3. Now, if you take this 1, 4, the area of section 1 is easy. It's got a distance, a length of 30 and a height of uh, 25. So we can calculate that. Section 2 is a trapezium. Now, a trapezium is easy because it's the parallel size, half the sum of the parallel sides, as they say. The rhyme goes, half the sum of the parallel sides, so that's 10 plus 25. The height here is 10, the height here is 25, multiplied by the distance between them. And pop does go the weasel. That's the point. Half the sum of the parallel sides multiplied by the distance between them. So uh, the distance between it is t minus 30. So we're going to put that expression down there. Then the final section here, we've got another rectangle, which is easy, which is the height, which is 10 multiplied by the distance. So the height is 10. Now the distance is 90, which is our biggest distance, minus t, which is our smallest distance. So we get a great big expression, which we can expand. Oops. So 1,410 is equal to 750 plus, this is 35, half of 35, which is 17.5t, then half of the 35 is 17.5 times the 30 is minus 525, then from the last step we get a 900 from that multiplication, and we get a minus 10t from that multiplication. So. Let's put it all together, take the numbers to the left, we get 285 and a total of 7.5t here. Now this equation has just got one unknown, so we can work out the t is 38 seconds. Now that's not answer, the answer that we wanted was the deceleration of the car. So if we come over here and we can now use our fact that the gradient here, so we've used this element here, we want to use this element now, the acceleration is the gradient, so we want to find the gradient of this slope in section two. So let's find, let's write this down, gradient of two, that's fine. So gradient is up divided by long. In this case, we're going down, we're going down from 25 down to 10, so we're going minus 15. And that's why we get our deceleration, and our time goes from 30 to 38, so it's a distance of 8 seconds, which equals minus 1.875 ms minus 1. And you've got to be very careful here, all oh, my apologies, ms minus 2, it should read, because it's a, an acceleration or deceleration. Okay. Now, what it asks for us actually in the question, it does use the word deceleration, and that means getting slower. So we found the acceleration of minus 1.875. So that means the deceleration, and this is where you can get caught out, the deceleration is actually 1.875. The deceleration already encompasses the negative minus 2, and that's our final answer.